Hello and welcome. I'm Tim and this is Tim B at Sea and we're going into the cruise ship terminal here in Manhattan and we haven't done this for a couple years so uh, this ought to be interesting. And to make the fun factor a little higher we're going in right when they ordered us which just happens to be right at the uh, max flood. So the good news about this particular terminal is that Usually we can go in, the, the tide runs pretty hard here, but usually we can go in on any tide other than the ebb tide. We can go, still go and do it on the ebb tide. The ebb tide just makes it really, the, the ebb tide has you setting down on the ship. So the flood, the flood uh, tide is really what we want to do. But you're going to see us backing in, so that'll be interesting. So stick around. Okay, so you can see the cruise ship up ahead of us. I've got an assist tug coming up here. I'm trying to slow down all the time. Uh, just coming up here with the flood tide, we're doing about nine and a half knots. So uh, we got a, a lot of help from the tide. So uh, anyway, as you'll see what the plan is, and like I say, uh, we used to do this all the time before COVID struck, and uh, it's nice to see the cruise ships getting back into business here. It's good for us, and uh, I'm sure people that uh, are cruising are all happy about that as well. But uh it means that I've got to get the rust out. This, uh, this is one of those jobs that you worry about, and nine out of ten times it's not such a hard job. It just looks different. I'll tell you a little bit of history about this, too. For a long time, we all, all of us that used to do this used to drive right in and uh, then have to back out. And uh, we did that for a long, long time. And I don't know who it was. I got a feeling it was one of the old timers that had been around and done everything before. Somebody started backing in. And all of us looked at him and said, what is he doing? Is he out of his mind? And then as soon as we saw him do it, we're like, oh my God, why haven't we done that? Generally, backing is a tough thing to do. But it usually works well in this situation. And the reason being is that you go from a lot of tide to very little tide in the, the distance of as soon as you get into the slip, you get you go from you know two or three knots of tide to zero tide. So uh, when you're backing in, you can back at an angle and have your assist tug kind of flatten you out once you get in there. And so uh, it works out really, really well. However, I might be counting my chickens before they hatch on this particular job. So hopefully that won't be the case. Hey, Doran, you down there? Yes, All right, why don't you go up there and catch a line from uh, the Pegasus? Yeah, he'll be standing right on top of it for you there. And if everything goes well, uh, I should be able to back in at almost like a 45, and then as I get in and out of the tide, you know, with the tug, I'll start having you flatten us out as I back up, you know. And so the the line there is is mostly there just in case we get a little too aggressive, but uh, I, I think it's going to be fine. I think you'd just be pushing on me the whole time. Okay. We'll do what you need. All right. So right now I'm just bleeding off speed. Uh, he's kind of pushing me over a little bit, so I'm going to give it a hard right wheel here. And I've just got two two engines in clutch. We're still making over four knots. So uh, I'm trying to get as close as I can to the ship. In fact, he's kind of working on me, so I'm going to start going a little faster here to try to keep the bow from falling off. I want to get right tight to the dock before I make my turn. All right, 
Very good, thank you. Okay, so now he's not pushing me anymore, and the bow's starting to come over. So now I just go back to click. Sure, that sounds great. So he just gave me a time of 6.55, and that means that that's where he starts, and so his log will match my log. Now, when you have an assist tug like this, and he's got a relatively short line like that, he put he gets a, a, a considerable amount of pinch on the barge. So, so in other words, he's not flat with the barge. So, if you notice, I've got my port engine in gear and my um, wheel hard over to starboard because he's acting like a rudder, and uh, that's kind of messing me up right now. So, I'm going to try to deal with that by. Uh, really pointing over towards that's not real ideal for me it'll work it'll work much better when I start backing up okay now I'm really getting it to move now and like I say I really want to get right close to the ship before the before I start backing in Okay, so now I've got it pointed in the right direction, but if you look at the chart plotter, you can see my red line is just going right up the river here. So uh, I need to get, I need to close the distance, distance between the ship and me. So this is not ideal. I'm not doing a real good job of being where I want to be. And uh, unfortunately, he's not really helping me. It's not his fault. He's not doing anything. If uh, I had had him go without a line, this wouldn't have been an issue, but having the line helps me when things go wrong. So if we need him, we will be able to have the line there. All right, we're doing four knots, which is a little too fast, but I'm going to take it out of gear and just coast. Put my rudder hard over because he's jamming me over to the... He's jamming me counterclockwise, and I'm trying to keep us pointed at the ship. But you can see the tide is just pulling us right down there. Let me give it one more shot that way. All right, that's it. All right, now I think I'm pretty much committed at this point to... Uh, I'm going to have to back up a little bit more than I wanted, but we can do that. So now I'm putting my rudder hard left. And in fact, I can even give it a shot right now to try to close the distance between us before I get uh, perpendicular to the tide. Okay, we're doing down to 3.4 right now. 3.4 knots. So I'm all stop and I got my rudder hard left. I'm just letting everything start slowing down and spinning. I haven't started backing yet, but that, that will start happening pretty soon. I want to get parallel before, I mean, uh, you know, I want to get parallel with the tide before I start backing. But you know what, we're not coming around as fast as I want, so I'm going to give it a little twist. All right, so now, I'm backing with my twist, trying to slow things down. I got things down to 2.8 right now. Now you're going to lose sight with the cameras. You're going to lose sight of the ship. But when we get in there, if I have an opportunity, the camera I have that's on my uh, throttles, I'm going to try to move into the so that you guys can see us backing in there. I don't know that I'll be able to do that because I'm going to be busy doing my job. But if I have a spare spot that's what, spare time that's what I'll do all right so right now I'm trying to slow down rotate out I'm going to be backing much harder than I'm turning because I can always use him to push us around if we need to right now the big thing is to start really kind of bleeding off that speed I'm down to 1.9 now 1.8 and I really want to get the corner of the tug almost you know facing the corner of the cruise ship at about a 45 degree angle like I'm saying, it's very hard for you to see at this angle, but hopefully you'll be able to see it once we get into the hole.
All right, clutch on one on the Pegasus. Now what I want to do is I'm really checking to see how much power he has. I might need him to be clutch on two and uh, see what happens here. Okay, so now I'm watching my red line, and my red line is showing that uh, we're starting to make progress into the slip. So I need to watch my stern, make sure that we clear the ship. Everything's looking okay right now. Uh, his clutch on one seems to be working really well. Now I gotta worry because I'm starting to uh, get caught in the tide myself. So I'm gonna start backing on both engines and straightening my rudder out so that I can use it in either way if I need to. Clutch on two on the Pegasus. Okay, so now I'm starting to back into the tide. I've only got a few feet behind me for the cruise ship, so I'm going to go all stop and twist my stern out a little bit. Okay, that seems to be working. I'm all stop again. Now go back to the back window and have a look. Everything's looking all right. He's pushing me there. And this is where I say to myself, Tim, it's all right. I don't need to be nervous. I haven't done this in two years, so uh, I'm a little... I get a little bit of anxiety about it, and it's fine. Everything's working out just fine. So I need to just kind of chill a little bit. All right, I'm coming by the corner of the ship now, so uh, I can start backing. Once again, I want to ease my rudder so my rudder is straight back so that I can use it in either direction should I need to. All right. Now, I'm right close to the ship, which is good because I'm worried about the, the tide pushing me down. So I'm actually going to twist a counterclockwise tw twist to lift my stern off of the ship. All right, down to one now on the Pegasus, down to one. Okay, and the reason why I'm doing that is I don't want, I'm going to be pulling, as I'm doing this uh, twist, I'm going to be pulling the bow over, and I don't want to get too much. Okay, now I'm looking much better. I'm going to center my wheel again, or maybe almost center it. And start backing up. On the Pegasus, you cool with this speed backing up like this? Yeah, man. Whatever you need to do. All right. Okay, I'm going to give myself a little bit of left wheel here to lift my stern off the ship. I say things are going much better than I expected. All right, just in and out now on the Pegasus. Try to hold this angle if you can. Okay. Now the reason why I don't want him to get flat yet, because that's going to um, mess up with the tide. But I also want him to be able to push over when he when he's ready. So I, ha I say in and out, and that means he's got one clutch. Uh, he's got one in clutch, and then he puts it in neutral. He's got one in clutch, and then he puts it in neutral, so forth and so on. All right. Now I'm going to lift my stern off of the ship by giving a good twist here. And that's going to drive his bow over. And this is where I'm very happy that I've used the, uh, the bow line. The bow line that was messing us up was the thing that's going to end up helping us right now. Okay, so, oh, you know what? I was going to bring that camera over for you guys. I'm going to put this camera over here so you guys can see what's going on. All right, now, the, now it's coming around. That's working good. Okay, now i got to back some more because uh, I was worried that I was falling into the ship too much and uh, I'll let me keep working and everything's working out good now. Sometimes you have to come back here a very good clip and uh, you can look like a, a million bucks or look like a real idiot if you mess up when you come back real fast and uh, this is one of those days where I tide was supposed to be hopping and uh, I was like I say a little apprehensive because I haven't done this in a while and uh, everything's working out real good so I need to just settle down and just go back nice and easy. I don't know if you can see it in the cameras yet but uh, there are a bunch of life rafts and we always get freaked out that we're gonna they're gonna hit the upper house and they never do. All right clutch on one now on the Pegasus. Okay, so now that I'm in getting out of the tide, I'm going to have him start to flatten us out. Actually, give me clutch on two so you get a little bit of room on that other pier over there on the Pegasus. 
All right, down to one now on the Pegasus. Okay, watching the stern here. We're coming. And I just... I wanted to make sure he has enough room on the on the uh, other dock. And uh, he's looking good over there. So now we're as we flatten out, I can start to come back a little faster. He's doing a really good job maintaining position over there. Um, sometimes when you back up, you tend to, to t fall on your line. And uh, he, like I say, he's doing it. He's obviously done this a whole bunch of times. So he's real good at what he's doing. All right, now just in and out on the Pegasus. All right, he is almost inside the slip, which means his chances of uh, getting caught in the tide are getting less and less. What I need to do now is protect the barge from going under the rake, which shouldn't really happen unless I make a mis unless I make a mistake because. The tide should be still, any water that comes, you can see that the water coming by the stern of the ship is uh, should be pushing everything off over there. Now we're just coming back nice and easy. Because I have an angle here, I need to keep twisting or I'll put my stern of my tugboat up against the ship. Okay, very good. See some uh, people here eating breakfast. Sounds like a s wonderful idea. Can't wait to go down and have some breakfast. <laughs> so now we're just uh, sliding back nice and easy. The Pegasus is doing an outstanding job. They're doing really. They're doing exactly what I want them to do. He's holding the angle. Everything's right. Sometimes you get a, an assist boat that does what they think you need and not what you ask for, or they give you too much or too little power. And uh, this guy is doing everything exactly right, just like I like it. Okay, I'm going to lift my stern off a little bit. Doran, is Mark near you? No, I'm right here on the stern, the working stern, but the stern. All right, so am I looking at this this door that's coming up to the working stern here? Um, is that is that our door or is it the next door? I'm hoping it's this one right here. Yes, this one right here. I'm hoping. I don't know. Okay, no problem. What, what I'll try to do is we're going to try to stay off of the ship until we get that roughly in position. And I really wouldn't worry too much about anything. The Pegasus, do you got to you got to go somewhere right away? Yeah, so we got the Pegasus for a little while, so we'll, we won't even grab a Panama chalk. And on the Pegasus, you can go all stop. Um, very good. And, uh, yeah, so, so we'll, we'll just stay in position until we figure it out, and then we'll start putting up lines so we don't have to do a million different things. Okay, I got the thing up and down. On the Pegasus, are you able to give a little back there, or is it going to be a diff difficult? Coming back down. Thank you. I just want to stay off the ship because it's a white ship. <laughs> we have white fenders on these these uh, bunker barges just for that. Yep, that's perfect. That's that's all I needed, just like that. And then you can go all stop. All stop. Oh, that guy on the Pegasus is good. Probably flat right now. It's too wide. So, Mark, do you want to put that door for the time being right at your manifold? Yes, okay, yep. Okay, so we'll just keep drifting like this for, what, another 50 feet? So I'm all stop here. My rudder is hard over to port so I can I can lift the stern off if I start taking a dive in there. We're almost we're down at point three knots, so I'm gonna give it a little back just to keep Very good. So I just give it another shot of stern to keep us rolling because it was stalling out. Okay. 
Like I say, there's very little tide in these slips once you get in. So like I was saying, even though we, our Yokohamas are white so that we can do these cruise ships, we still try very hard not to rub up against them because they get really upset about that. And they can't feel us. They're such a big ship, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna, now since I'm falling off a little too much, I'm going to center my rudder and back on my outboard side. That would be the uh, starboard side. Ten more feet. This turns up and up to ten. A good uh, seven on your uh, bound. Yep, no problem. Well, I'm not even going to fix it. We're going to get in the spot in the Pegasus, and I'll push it right over straight. We won't even leave a streak on the ship. How are we doing, Mark? Yeah, we're just now starting to pack the spot now. About <laughs> three feet pack and going farther. Okay, very good. All right, on the Pegasus, give me clutch on one. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is because he's pushing up there, I'm going to go and uh, give us right, a, right a right twist. So in other words, with a right twist, that makes my bow go to the right and pushes the stern over but he's going to be slow I don't have him I just have him working minimal power on one engine just so we slowly close the difference we can't really do anything until they open the door and uh, so so we're not in a big hurry here and we're out of danger so we did everything else right it doesn't make sense at the last minute to go and jam it into the ship all right on the Pegasus just let it drift now All right, Mark. Do you feel I'm feeling more and more comfortable about this? Uh, that about that being the spot. Do you want to grab a double line on one of those Panama bits, or you just want to wait it out? No, I, I, I prefer to grab something. All right, cool. That will work good for us too, and we can let the Pegasus go, and he can. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's got to go to Sunday mass. <laughs> All right, clutch ahead on one again on the Pegasus. Clutch one. We'll come back about five foot and then we'll work into this one. Is that all right? Yep, that's fine. Coming back a little bit. All right, they got the line on there. I'm going to straighten my rudder out. Coming into it. And now, we just wait for the ship. I'm just going to check until we get on the spot, okay, Tim? Yeah, that's fine. I just got one in clutch, so it go nice and easy. So we just got to wait for the engineers on the ship to open the door and uh, figure out what we want to do, and uh, everything should be fine. So thank you so much for coming along. Like I say, it was a little... <laughs> I think I said this at the beginning of the video, but uh, this is one of those jobs that you can get really, you can get yourself amped up about, and it really isn't as bad as it looks. I have no idea how it looks on uh, film, but uh, from my perspective in my head, as I, I got up this morning and said, oh man, we're doing the cruise ship again. Oh no, it's going to be the top of the flood. And, uh, I'm hearing a bunch of men screaming on the other side of the door, so I think we're on the right spot. <laughs> Maybe they want to get out. <laughs> Wrap it up. So hopefully that door, there's a door in the ship that he's he's that's right beside the tankerman there with the crocodile Dundee hat on. <laughs> so uh, hopefully that uh, door will open up and there'll be some guys over there ready to receive. So we'll see how that goes.
Well, this is taking much longer than I was hoping for, so uh, I think I'm going to shut the camera off to try to kill a little dead air. But Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like these videos, maybe you can give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, write a comment. All those things help out the channel. And uh, if you take away anything from these videos, maybe you think about joining the Patreon crew. A couple dollars a month, and uh, it helps out a lot. Really appreciate it. And uh, you guys... Stay safe. See you on the